Hi everyone! Today I wanted to show how to make little pockets out of paper bags. So these paper bags are sewn into signatures. Just uh, a regular lunch bag. Let me show you one. Let's see. All right, so here's one end of a paper bag. And then the other end is over here. And it's been turned into a little envelope. So you can either open it like this, or you can open it like this. And it tucks in, just like that. And you can decorate um, the envelope any way you like. There's another one. And of course the other end of it is a regular uh, little bag. Alright, so I have one that's not done yet. So as you can see, it's just the bottom of a paper bag. So here is how I turn it into a little envelope. I take this side right here and I find this little opening on it and my goal is to cut it right across. And now I also need to open it up on these two edges. And of course you can do this before you sew it into the signature and it's probably much easier to do it beforehand. But I kind of forgot to do that so here we are. Alright, because now it's a little bit harder to get to it. Especially if your journal is really thick. So just try to get in there the best as you can. And cut it along this line. So yeah, I recommend doing this ahead of time. But now... This will open right up and you can also already see the beginnings of a little envelope. You can actually just leave it like this and just glue something on top and it will open up like this which, uh, which is actually really nice to do it that way. And if you don't want it to open up like this then you can tape this tape or glue this down all around and then it will open up just like this. It will be a smaller pocket instead of a big pocket. And you can also do this and fold it up. So that's another variation. So you can leave it sort of origami style. Now to do it, uh, to make it into more of an envelope look, I simply mark the midway point like this. And then I fold it up to that point. And here you can uh, you can glue this down so that it doesn't open up. Glue it or tape it down. You can cut these little fl flips off if you don't like them sticking out. And then this tucks into here but only this far. So in my case, I'm lucky because I can just fold it here and it will still perfectly fit my page. So that's what I've been doing. If you do it ahead of time, then you will have more control over that. And you can also cut these flaps off so they are not in your way. And you can do this nicer than I'm doing. 
right now, but I just wanted to show it real quick. There we go. So once you glue this down, and you can nicely decorate this, and of course you can use all kinds of different colors for your envelopes. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Have fun.